The card we're making today is this brayered look with also the masking technique. I apologize for the music in the background. That's my six-month-old playing with some of her toys. So you're going to get a little background music with this. Anyway, the way that we're going to do this is we're going to first mask and then brayer. And I'll show you how to do that. So first I just take a post-it note and I want to make sure that I get some of the sticky side out of the part that I punch. So I use my 1 and 3 8 circle punch and I put in my post-it note and I punch it out. So now this piece will have some stickiness to my Barely Banana paper. So I put it down in the right hand corner and I, you can see it just has the, enough stick for what I need because I, I want to be able to peel it off later. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my brayer, and this is the high density plastic one so that the ink won't stay on there permanently, but it gives it a nice, good, uh, even effect when you apply it to the paper. Now make sure when you're brayering that you ink your brayer in the same direction, so either forward or backwards, but if you do, if you just go back and forth like this, you're only going to ink up that one specific section of your brayer. So now that I've inked up my brayer with more mustard ink, I'm just going to roll it over all of my Barely Banana paper. And I don't want to get it to be too dark because I just want there to be some Barely Banana that comes through. Uh, if, you were, if you wanted it to be darker, just apply more ink. Now, if you're using uh, two different color inks, you don't have to clean the brayer in between each colors as long as you go from light to dark. Uh, so I don't need to clean this before I use my dusty Durango. And you can see I don't want a whole lot of color, I just want a little. So instead of inking it up as much as I did with the more mustard, I'm just going to do one light pass just to make sure that the brayer has enough ink on it. So you can see it's got enough ink. And then I'm just going to ever so lightly roll off on my scratch paper and then roll on to my Barely Banana and more mustard. And that's all it is. Now go ahead and clean it. and You clean it by rubbing it along your scramp, uh, stamp and scrub pad and then you rub off all the excess on your scratch paper. This way color will not transfer to your next project. And make sure you get the edges or else any of that ink that's left on the edges, the residue will transfer to your next project. So now I take off the post-it note. There's my sun. I'm going to use my uh, stamp -a jig to place my flowers where I want them to be. I've already pre-stamped it. Okay, take that away. I'm going to use chocolate chip ink. And again, I could make this image darker, but my intended effect was to have some of the color of the paper come through the whole image. So that's why I'm only going to use it one time. And the way I'm stamping this, if you can see, is instead of actually putting the stamp down on the ink pad, I'm turning it upside down so I can really get the color on there evenly and make sure that I don't have any bare spots when I push down. Okay, now that it's inked up, turn it over, flip it down, and just push. Make sure you push with uniform strength over the entire thing. And there you have it. Now I'm just going to glue that front to my card. And there's my card. So enjoy and good luck you doing this project.